For the men at Mariah Shock Incarceration Correctional Facility, prison time moves at an accelerated pace. The facility in Mineville, New York, is one of two so-called shock boot camp prisons in the state, and one of a handful nationwide that offer shorter sentences in exchange for participation in programs that aim to prepare inmates for a brighter future. Shock is primarily a nonviolent first offender type program over the years. It has expanded. We now accept inmates uh, in the shock program from 16 to the age of 49. About 200 men are serving six month intensive sentences at Mariah Shock. And inmates are occupied nearly every hour of the day. Everybody wants to do shock because they're here for six months. It's not like a regular person when you get to sit in your cell all day and stuff. You actually, they keep you so busy. Reveille sounds off at 5.30 in the morning. Inmates have 15 minutes to get up, make their beds, brush their teeth, shave their face, put on their physical training gear. After a 5.30 a.m. wake-up call, they exercise outdoors together. Mealtimes are likewise conducted with formal precision, as inmates move exactly as ordered. I straightforward. Later, under a drill instructor's close watch, the prisoners run through an obstacle course. Stay out of it. Stay out of the net. For a large portion of the day, inmates participate in education programs, while others are assigned to manual labor, working on projects outside of the prison grounds. This group is building a playground at a local Head Start center. After returning from work, inmates must go through a routine security check upon re-entering the prison. For the rest of the day, some men attend group meetings designed to improve life skills, while others join substance abuse programs. It's no BS, like it actually makes people, it actually changes you. You're not going to be the same person you leave when you came in. The day wraps up by 9.30, when inmates must turn in for the night. Boot camp prisons first became commonplace nationwide in the late 1980s. A federal crime bill signed by President Bill Clinton in 1994 allocated millions of dollars to expand them, and by 95 there were about 75 state-operated boot camps for adult offenders. Decades later, numerous studies have shed doubt on their effectiveness. Still, in New York, these boot camp prisons remain an option for shortening sentences for those who qualify. And Mariah Shock inmates like Manuel Tillet see their value. There's a lot of denial with a lot of inmates that first walked through that door. This program really puts a mirror through your face and, and forces you to look. It's not optional. Fall out.